Right, here's something from the world of mechanics. So I've got a box here, a rectangle of prism, and um, I can throw it up into the air and spin it. So I can do it in three different ways. We've got like that, we've got like that, and then we've got this one. Now, two of those are stable and one of them is unstable. So if you imagine something uh, thin and frisbee-like like this, we usually throw it um, with its axis of rotation as the shortest distance. So going through here, as I spin it up like that way, uh, that's the shortest axis there, and that's stable. So imagine a frisbee going through the air, that's exactly what we throw. Uh, the next stable one is going through the longest axis. So if you had an axis through where my hands are now, that's the longest point. And again, if you throw it up into the air, it's stable. Um, but the one in between isn't. Um, so if I throw it here and here, uh, as it goes up in the air, if it was perfectly thrown, it would be it would stay on that axis. However, if there's a small perturbation, um, then that perturbation grows as it goes through, and it quickly becomes unstable, and so you get this kind of cartwheeling in the air. Um, and th this is true. It doesn't have to be a rectangular box. So if you imagine something, um, well, anything kind of with a long distance, a short distance, a medium distance, then it's unstable. If all of those distances are the same, like a football, uh, then it's stable no matter how you do it. It's got an infinite number of axes of rotation. If you have two of them the same, like a rugby ball, then it, it's stable in... Um, if you imagine a rugby ball out this way, it's stable as it kind of torpedoes along, uh, and it's just about stable in the other two distances. There's not a long one and a short one. The problem only comes when you have three distinct distances. Um, I'm going to put a link under this, if you're watching it on my website, to an interesting video taken on the International Space Station. Uh, it's nothing to do with air resistance, this, and there's nothing to do with gravity. They've got um, something spinning in free, uh, in zero gravity, -ish, um, which keeps flipping around because it's rotating around its unstable axis, and it's really pronounced when you see it in space. It's just an interesting video.